Welcome back everyone to Wellstopia and here is our carpenter shed that we built last time and inside it we have all that wood that we cut down since the last episode. Look at the peninsula now. Yes there are a few trees here and there but most of them are now inside filling these chests to the brim. Let's take a look. All right, filling one half chest to the brim. A line of birch, half a line of dark oak. This was overbuilt. Now, this being overbuilt, you could say, well, maybe the carpenter rents out some of the storage area f to other people in the village. And that could be plausible. Because thinking of the future and perhaps maybe during the original construction of the village, they needed massive amounts of storage. Or maybe when building the original boats, they needed massive amounts of storage. And it's declined since then. And the carpenter has since rented out some area except here is the house and I think the house is nice enough it's a bit cozy shall we say well maybe I need to raise that fireplace up a little bit but it's a bit on the cozy side only a single room plus a little foyer here was a stairway into the attic where we've got storage. I know I have this enchanting table hidden right here, but that's temporary until I get a real location for that. So it's a nice little cozy cottage. That seems, well, I don't know which one of these has the more square footage. Probably on the ground floor, this wins. Probably if we go by total floor space, if you include the attic, this one. And now I see just how overly built this is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear this down, rebuild it with a more reasonable number of chests. But I'm going to do that between episodes. But as I built that thing during... Last episode, I just wanted you to know what was going on there. What I want to do today, though, is to get a nether portal. Now, where should I build this nether portal? Let's take a look at this map here. As you can see, with the peninsula now open up, it's a lot easier to see what's going on. And I'm starting to get an idea of what the various areas will become. We have this little area, which is a mine. And the fence here is to keep people from accidentally falling in. It used to be a lot more dangerous. But I still want to keep livestock from getting it. So, yes, well, normally you build a fence around the livestock. This time I built the fence to keep the livestock out. That's a little bit of a change there. But this is where our mine is, and I have a little bit of a path here of cobble, and these, these will eventually be taken down when I have proper roads. And this is to lead to where I have a double cave spider spawner, and I'm going to use that as my main spawner. Yeah, that pretty much makes the one that's way up the north a little bit obsolete since this double spawner is going to be a lot more convenient than the single spawner up there. So I found that between the episodes. Now here we have this double pond. And I think this double pond will be perfect for our village green. So I'm thinking of village green coming around right around here. And I think this will be perfect for our nice village green all around here we could probably put something up on the hill perhaps the inn can go up here right on the hill 
And this could overlook the village green because it's always nice to have your inn looking over the village green, I think. Since the village green and the inn very often become the centers for everything. So that'll take care of that. But what I need, of course, is a place where I want to put our nether portal. And there are several possibilities. You see we are right here down next to the blue banner now. And I was thinking of how about down here. This is where we have the home of our patron spirit, which is going to be a water spirit. And having a spirit helping to power your portal or something like that. Wouldn't that be nice when then I thought, wait a moment. Why is a water spirit going to help us get into the nether? That doesn't make sense at all. I mean, a fire spirit I could see, but a water spirit? Doesn't make And these people, of course, appreciate water spirits. I figured this could be our freshwater spirit, and there could be a saltwater spirit out here when I get a conduit operating and all. Thus, that sounds perfect, except for this thing about what. Water spirits not appreciating the nether all that much. Then I was thinking, what, what about the smithy? Because we have a smithy right next to our mine here. And our smith will surely have dealings with a fire spirit, right? So perhaps that's how we can get our nether portal. That sounds like a nice place. I also was considering way down at the haunted house, but I decided that would be too inconvenient. But eventually, I decided to put it at the shrine up here anyway, at the water shrine. You say, well, why, why would a water shrine be associated with a nether portal? And that's because the water spirit here isn't there to power the nether portal. The water spirit is to protect an in the village from an invasion from the nether. And with this pond and our nether portal being right here, the water spirit has the advantage, obviously. We're in the water world. Ooh, we have any spirits coming out here having to deal with water and all that stuff. Now, obviously, the water spirit can't go into the nether either because there the fire spirits would have all the advantage. And if the spirit needs any help, well, we've got the local population of humans. You usually find one or two adventurous folk, especially younger people, who may be willing to do that. So this, then, is where I'm going to build it. And the question is, how how I am going to build it without messing up the terrain too much and of course with the shrine and with the portal actually in operation. When I thought of doing a water shrine the first thing I think of building it out of would be Prismarine but since I don't have any of that yet I'll be using mossy stone bricks and perhaps some variations out of that. But the first thing I need to worry about is the portal itself. And that's what this is going to be all about. I'll have to get rid of this because we'll need a portal to be right here. It has to be right at the water line so the obsidian is to be below the water line everything else has to be above it because I don't think you can have water going into a nether portal I think it causes the portal to wink out now you may be saying well why don't they just destroy the portal and I will presume that it has some sort of spell on it that keeps that from happening So therefore we have this conflict of forces working on here. So we have 
someone on our side keeping anyone from invading, there's something that keeps the portal from breaking down. In fact, it could be the portal is here. I was wondering, why would someone build a portal here? It could be that the structure of the portal, the in, the obsidian port, is there to fix the location of the entrance to the nether, and that otherwise it will move to random spots and be able to terrorize the town. So they built a portal here that will fix the location so that they could control what comes out with the help of the water spirits. Okay, I think I'm getting a storyline here. Now, I hope this works because otherwise I'll have to spend many a tedious moment undoing this because Obsidian isn't exactly known as being the easiest block to break in the game. In fact, its reputation is pretty much the opposite. That's sort of a beginning there. Now, obviously, I'm going to have something to cover this up. I don't want to get rid of... Do I have a shovel? Of course, I don't have a shovel. Now, I've got a shovel. That's and now, I've got a clear area where I could build the rest of this portal. But I will get a structure around this as soon as I see what's on the other side of this. Let's see, that should be... I think it's one, two, three. Oh yeah, because I have six left. And of course, when you're building a special portal to keep anything, to keep the location fixed and all that stuff, you don't cheat in round off the corners or anything like this. No, you make it a full portal like this, but not too big. And I think this would be perfect. Then I could build the structure around this. Good. Now I did bring flint and steel. I suppose I am going to need a way to climb it. We'll see if this works. Yes, it does work. Well, at least that's good. Now, what's on the other side? Uh. All right, I. <laughs> I popped in the middle of another tunnel. <laughs> oh, I was expected to be in some wild, untamed place in the middle of nowhere, and I popped in the middle of somebody's another tunnel. For what? Uh, this comes to an end here. Where does this lead to, I wonder? Well, actually, was this to my space or was this somebody else? Or is this somebody else's tunnel? This looks like something that somebody else built. Uh-oh. Well, what could have been possibly been close enough to my base? I don't think we're in Salt Marsh anymore. Ah. <sighs> And I better get to some place that's not outdoors. And that portal let me here, which is in a third location. These things aren't synced up in the slightest. Well, community guardian farm under construction. Gas to blow you away. I've got no idea where to go and be able to hit a bed because I'm in a very dangerous location. Yikes! It appears that I'm at History West's place and the place is winking at me. And we've got West March's distribution center here. All right. And some nether wart. I wonder if he sells another wart. Hmm. I should see about that. I've never been all the way down to the marketplace, so I can't be sure, but this is a whole lot closer. But what I really am going to need
is a way out of here. Hmm. Where's the nearest water? I haven't gotten back to my home village yet, but apparently I found an NPC village. I will presume that... Oh, really? Come on, guys. All right. I can understand taking a thing or two from a village here, but raping the place completely is a bit much. Really, look at this. No one replanted. This. All right. Well, we do have some stuff that was replanted here, but we have this plot right here not replanted. We've got one set of potatoes. That's all you have. One, well, all right, I've got one potato I got from a mob, so I'm not going to worry about that. Leave that for someone else to discover where they'll have be greatly ecstatic over there. One potato. And it looks like we've got skeletons to worry about to greet me when I get back home. Whew. Really? Now, ooh, bones. At least that's something. Now, make sure there are no creepers in my land. Because unfortunately, it turned dark as I was doing that little run. I guess I wasn't up long enough for the phantoms to come after me, which is good. Let's have some fish. There you go. Now, the land seems clear, which means as soon as I turn around, I'm going to be blown up by a creeper. I went back underground and mined a bunch of obsidian to build a portal on the other side so I get things properly linked. Good. And I also had noticed that all my armor was dying, so I replaced all of my armor. Still very poor in chance. I have to take care of my enchanting table at some point but before I'm going to take that too seriously I need to get a farm going for XP so that I can have enough XP to actually take advantage of many books if I do them I've been breeding up cattle now let's get back in here we're gonna go into that rather poor portal here now I still don't know whether I generated this or Hold on. Where are we? 119? Good grief! My nether spawn location should be somewhere out in that direction. And this probably explains why I spawned in the middle of nowhere because there is this big void with this big lava lake below it and yeah that's unbuildable now I do have this spot right here I'm going to need the tunnel owners permission in order to actually build off in this direction I want to see if this might be potentially more convenient for me in order to make this. Now I need to go out to 175. The fact that there's nether rack here, I don't know whether that means he built the nether rack here or if, there we go, or if this is naturally generated. So naturally generated, I have some hope. Let's see if I can get up to minus 160 from here. As I said, I'll have to put this all back if the owner of the tunnel doesn't like the idea of me going here. So I'm not going to make anything elaborate, just enough to scout. Hmm, well... See, I don't have to mine all that much. I think I'll just put this back. That means I won't be connected, but there you go. I've broken through. I think I go this way, but I'm sure that my actual location can't be in any place convenient. 
wait minus 160 175 This is it right here. What's well, so hard? Why could they just support me to here? Well, I suppose then there just happened to be a tunnel that was close enough to grab me that. Very well. Now, I have still no idea why that tunnel exists in the first place. I figure what I'll do is I'll. Give myself a few items here. I want to be careful here because while I do have some fire protection on my armor, since I was going into another, it's natural to want that. I certainly didn't do enough for all I needed. Uh, let me see. 160, 175, right. Alright, this is it right here. My calculations are right. This is the perfect block to be the center of my portal. And if that, well, therefore, if I do this right, then I should be able to get into the nether at least. Now, it does have a problem that I don't have any. Way to get back out there. But where's that big lake that I saw? Now I'll see if I did my sums properly. And... Sums are good. Time of day is bad. Time to get indoors, I guess. When I build a shrine, I'm very, very definitely going to be needing a bed so that I can sleep if necessary when I get back from the nether. What I'm also going to be needing is a source of XP on a regular basis which means a mob farm. And my best bet for that is a sp spider spawner. Now I don't have a regular spider spawner in my territory but I do have a double cave spider spawner underneath the mines here. And I want to see if I can turn that into an XP farm without getting killed. That latter bit is going to be a tough bit. Trying to use an XP farm from a cave spider spawner without being poisoned constantly. And we'll see how well I succeed in that in the next episode of Finally Plays Minecraft Wellstopia.